Um, I wanted to do an update on the Rock Dust trial. Um, it's not so much an update because I really haven't been doing anything. These plants have been in this cup for about a month now and they really need to be transplanted or something needs to happen because they're looking a little bit beat up. So all the plants are still grouped within their, um, their treatment groups and I have a little thing of foil here to divide up the pot so when I water it and you know the water seeps through none of the things that are in there sort of cross contaminate. Okay so on the bottom left of the bottom right here I have the control group and up here is the control group plus the worm casting. So the control was just um, the compost plus um, peat moss and this has worm casting in it. And then on the left here, from here down is control plus rock dust. And then the five up here is control plus rock dust plus worm casting. Okay, so I haven't transplanted them to bigger pots, primarily because I haven't had the time and also I didn't have the pots but I finally I think I have enough pots and let me show you um, the containers that I'll be growing these plants in. These are the containers that I'll be using for the next phase of the trial. The ones on the left is a three gallon self-watering container. It's the Mainstain brand I think um, and it's about eight dollars at Walmart. And then on the right are just um, 32 ounce yogurt containers and I have been eating a lot of yogurt. I actually eat a lot of yogurt anyway but I usually get the individual um, container, individual size serving size containers so I've switched to this um, probably in the beginning of the year and now I have about 13 and I need I think I need 14 so these, this will be for the bok choy. Okay, so we're turning our attention back to the, um, the plants. And I have a little thing to discuss with you. And I think that you can see there's a little bit of stunting going on with the plants. It's very similar to the issue I had with the tomatoes and pepper seedlings, which is, you know, what, what I would expect because I'm using the same soil especially in the control group you can see the plants are puny um, what's interesting is the the worm casting seems to be doing wonders for the plant so if you compare the plants that are sort of on top um, compared to the ones on the bottom they look a lot healthier and when you look at the peppers you can really tell the difference so let me try to take them out so I can show show it to you side by side okay so here are just the pepper plants this one is again the control control plus worm casting control plus rock dust control plus worm casting plus rock dust and so basically the the ones um, closer to you uh, the four are the ones with no worm casting and the ones in the back are the ones with worm casting and I think it is a hundred percent clear that the worm casting um, group is doing a lot better so yay worm casting um, and so my original plan actually was to ha to keep one plant from each group and take it to the bigger pots but what I think I'm going to do, because it's really evident to me that my worm casting that I made at home, which is really exciting, is beneficial. So what I, th what I think would be better is to keep the, one, the group with the worm casting and have duplicates. So basically the original plan that Steven put together. So these I will trash. And then these four is what I'll take forward into the three gallon, gallon pots. And so the, the only difference would be with or without worm casting. And also just in the interest of full disclosure, yesterday the plants were looking so bad, not so much the peppers, but 
also the bok choy that I put a pinch of um, bone meal into each pot, it, into all of the pots. You know, it was just yesterday, so I don't think we'd see an effect of anything. And actually nothing looks different. It's just that, I don't know, I felt like they needed some food. So I added a little bit of that. And so with that, I also want to discuss something else, which is that, you know, with the other seedlings, I was having stunting problems as well. So it appears that, at least for me in these containers, the compost alone is not providing enough um, nutrients for the plants and they're getting stunted. And maybe the worm casting will help it a little bit. But I also want to add some fertilizer, organic fertilizer to the mix. So for the baseline um, soil, I want to add a little bit of probably bone meal and maybe an all-purpose organic fertilizer. I know that Stephen has not suggested to use fertilizer, um, but when I do grow in containers, I usually have to apply fertilizer at some point in the plant's life, especially for things like peppers and tomatoes. And maybe some of you who grow in containers have not had to do that. So if you do have any suggestions, let me know. I know there are better um, composts that are sold in store, like the, um, I guess, Dr. Earth um, potting soil. But that thing is really expensive. It's like $15 per, um, I don't know, bag. And I would need like, you know, a couple bags of that. And I don't think that's very economical. So... For my purpose of gardening, which is just for fun, I'd like to keep it as stressless as possible. Um, so my plan right now is to add these amendments. So what I would add is just all-purpose fertilizer and probably some Epsom salt to the compost mix. Okay, that's the first part that I think would be nice to discuss. And the second thing is the rate of application of rock dust. So in this phase of the trial, I added what was recommended in the package. For the first part, I did what was recommended here, which is one teaspoon per two inch pot diameter. And I calculated that as I think one teaspoon per cup or maybe one teaspoon per two cups. I can't quite remember. But anyway, I used the recommended amount. And what Stephen is suggesting is one pound per one square feet. And here it says one pound per 10 square feet. So it's 10 times what's recommended. And he also suggested to cut that in half for pots. So that would be uh, one pound per five square feet. So basically I will five times the recommended um, amount for the pot. So um, I'll, I'll put on here what I used and I'll just five times what I used for the next part of the trial. So here are the bok choy plants. I think these are looking a little bit more beat up than the pepper plants. Um, so on the right is the control group. These are the tiniest, very, very small. Um, this one is the control plus um, worm casting. This is control worm casting plus rock dust. And the ones to the far right are control plus rock dust. And I don't know, it seems to me visually they, the control group just looks the smallest and the other ones look about the same. And I know that Stephen said to start off with plants about the same size, and that makes a lot of sense. But what I think I'm going to do is um, just keep these. I'll, I'll keep the four groups. And at the end, um, you know, we'll have four different things to compare. And I'll keep track of the growth starting from um, the day I transplant. So as they grow, I'm hoping that these will catch up in terms of growth and we can adjust for sort of the baseline size as well so that we can account for the size difference differences at the beginning. And again, these are individually are going to go into these 32 gallon pots. I'm trying to cover the brand name here. Um, so I'm going to need a lot of soil.
that's what I was thinking. And um, again, I'll use the same sort of amendment that I use for the peppers in terms of Epsom salt and all-purpose fertilizer because I think that you know being in this small container it's going to need lots of nutrients. So that's the plan for now. So I guess the points to discuss is the addition of fertilizer. I really don't think I can avoid it. Um, I can try not using it but you know I think that's just going to stunt everything. But I would like to hear your opinions about that. And the second part was the amount of rock dust I, I will be using. And I'll put up the calculation here because I can't remember what um, application rate I was using. But I'll use five times what is recommended in the container. So I just want to make sure those things are okay. Um, you know, it'll be good to discuss this. And probably I won't be able to do anything until next week. So there'll be plenty of time to discuss and figure out, you know, the best way to move forward so that the results will be comparable or at least interesting to many of you and also for myself. Um, so far, I, I think at this point, um, the one good thing we learned is, I learned, is that the worm casting works. So yay for the little worms that are in the basement. I'm very happy about that. So thank you guys for your attention. This is probably going to end up being a pretty long video and I'll be looking forward to all your comments and suggestions because you guys always have really um, good suggestions. So until next time, have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.